Now there's breaking news coming in. According to reports, Pakistan Prime Minister Shahid Khan Abbasi was made to go through security check at a U.S. airport. Pakistan media claims that Prime Minister Abbasi went through a routine check at an American airport. This video has been circulating on social media and Pakistani news channels are calling the incident humiliating. The Pakistani Prime Minister was on a personal visit to the United States. But he also met US Vice President Mike Pence. There have been reports for a while now that US is considering imposing visa bans and other travel restrictions on Pakistan. And to give us more details on the story, I'm joined in by Sushant Sareen, strategic expert, who's joining us on the phone line. Sushant, how do you see this? Because the video doesn't really give out much details. Is this what is turning out to be in the Pakistan media? Could this be an insulting move, actually? I don't think it was a deliberate insult. I think it is... Uh, see, the problem is that uh, Shahid Khakan Abbasi, on a number of occasions, not just in the U.S., this time in the U.S., but earlier in the U.K., uh, he would go for uh, his meetings with uh, the former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif or for some other reason, some party meeting. Um, and he would always classify it as a personal meeting. He would pay his own fare and he would go to these places and he would insist that there is no protocol which is given to him. Um, and, you know, now this could be a political ploy to win some brownie points, but he would be seen as hailing a cab, uh, or, you know, carrying his own luggage, things which we are normally not used to seeing politicians in our part of the world do. Um, something similar might have happened in the case of the U.S. because there were also reports that uh, he was insisting that he doesn't need any protocol from the Pakistani embassy. Uh, and as a result, uh, by when he landed in, uh, you know, in the U.S., uh, he would have gone through the normal channels uh, and not... Uh, have received any kind of protocol uh, from the U.S. authorities as well. Um, so to that extent, if he went through a security check, uh, I don't think it is out of the ordinary. The only uh, problem is, and where there is a contradiction which comes in, that while he went for what he claims to be a personal visit, uh, the Pakistan embassy in Washington uh, was also asked to um, uh, organize a meeting uh, for him with senior U.S. officials, which included, uh, and he actually met the U.S. Vice President Mike Pence. So uh, while he was willing to do that, uh, what was the reason why he did not, uh, you know, this was the bare minimum that a, an embassy car would come, pick him up, uh, give him the necessary uh, protocol, get him the necessary protocol, uh, and this controversy could have been avoided. Uh, but I suppose, uh, you know, uh, if it happened, it's all very well. On the lighter side, of course, one could say that given Pakistan's reputation, if even the Pakistani Prime Minister has to go through a security check, uh, I think the Americans uh, are being cautious enough to not let uh, anybody from that country come in without uh, proper security clearance. Right. Sushant, so that's a very valid point uh, that you made that, you know, it was a, a private visit. But then, of course, what contradicts is the fact that he met the U.S. Vice President Mike Pence. And then that could have also been an official visit, but he opted to not keep it that official. But does that somewhere also weave into the fact that U.S. is considering imposing visa bans and other travel restrictions? Oh, that because uh, the aid cut doesn't seem to have really, uh, you know, uh, pushed the Pakistanis to do the right thing, uh, as it would not have, because, uh, you know, the monies which the Americans are giving are important, but not critical to Pakistan's uh, survival. Uh, so there were, there have been some reports uh, emerging recently uh, that the Americans are now considering uh, ramping up certain political sanctions. Uh, the, the FATF, for example, was one of those. The recent, uh, you know, naming of seven Pakistani companies uh, put on the nuclear entities list by the Americans is seen as yet another move. Uh, and then there is talk that there could be visa restrictions on Pakistani officials uh, and there could be certain other political steps which could be taken, uh, which uh, some people say are, are unprecedented uh, political sanctions could be imposed on Pakistan. Uh, so against that backdrop, uh, certainly, you know, um, the fact that 
the Pakistani Prime Minister uh, went through a security check on a U.S. airport. Uh, I don't think is going to really do much for the optics of the man, uh, and it's not going to go down very well even inside Pakistan. Uh, I don't think it's going to win him any brownie points. I think uh, this will be seen as an insult on the country itself, uh, and to that extent, uh, you know, it's it's something which he has tried to do, uh, which has probably backfired on him. Right, right. Thank you, Sushant, for bringing us all those details. Mr. Sushant Sareen, strategic expert, joining us on Beyond on this story.